Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who own an M365 electric scooter from Xiaomi, um, today I have good news. I'm going to show you how you can uh, install a custom firmware on your scooter without having to use an ST-Link adapter because you probably know that if you have uh, the latest uh, available firmware on your scooter, which for the standard M365 it's 154 and for the Pro it's 166, until now you, you were not able to install a custom firmware without having to use uh, an ST-Link programmer. Well, this, this uh, changed uh, today or yesterday because uh, M365 Down G was uh, updated. It's now at version 17 and using this version you can now downgrade without having to use um, the ST-Link programmer. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use M365 Down G to install a custom firmware and we are going to create a custom firmware uh, which uh, will flash on, uh, on the scooter. Before moving on to that I would like to, to ask you for a favor. This is something that I don't usually do but uh, yeah this time uh, I would like to ask you to like and share this video if you find the information useful and also to, to subscribe to my channel. That would help me very much and I would be very grateful. Now let's move on and uh, let's see how, uh, how we can install the custom firmware. First of all, let me show you uh, that I'm actually running the, the latest firmware from Xiaomi. 154 because mine it's a uh, standard N365. Let me try to zoom in, but I also am recording the screen of my phone and I will overlay that recording so you can see very clearly what I'm doing here. So I'm running the latest firmware. Okay, let me restart just because the Mi app it's not uh, disconnecting fast enough from the Bluetooth module. And I'm going to show you also on uh, M365 tools the version of the Bluetooth module firmware which is 091. On, uh, on a Pro, this firmware version would be 1.1.0. So you can downgrade uh, M365 Normal and Pro. On Normal it's ESC firmware 1.5.4 and Bluetooth 0.9.1. Uh, on Pro it's 1.6.6 with 1.1.0. Okay, so let's get out of here. And actually, let me show you that the firmware version it's uh, sorry, not the firmware version, the app version it's 17. It's not working with uh, an earlier uh, version of this app. And I'm not sure if this uh, if this uh, app version it's available for everyone. If you see here, I enrolled as a beta tester and maybe, not sure, maybe I received uh, this uh, version uh, a bit faster than uh, the general public, but uh, it will be available in the next few days if it's not already available. So, we'll start 10365 down G. We are connecting to the scooter and first we have to check version. It says that it detected encoded BLE Bluetooth low energy. Check version again. I'll check again. Okay. And now I'm able to browse to the file system and uh, find uh, uh, the Bluetooth firmware that I want to, to flash. And you will find you will find uh, a file which is uh, for the standard 
M365. Here it's called the classic and the file for the Pro in the video description. They can be downloaded from uh, this uh, GitHub repository, but I will also download them and put them in the video description. So let's download this one, which is for the standard M365. Now let's go back to down G, browse to the folder where that file was downloaded, and we can simply flash it. The, flash it, the flashing process will take some time, but I will speed this up and come back uh, right at the end. Okay, so the flashing is almost uh, finished. What I forgot to tell you is that uh, you cannot skip this step. You first need to uh, downgrade the Bluetooth firmware. And only then you will be able to install a custom firmware for, uh, for the ESC. So now, we downgraded the Bluetooth firmware, and you can see here it's version 073. Now we can browse to this site, which probably all of you are knowing. It's m365.botox.bz. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and I like to start from uh, from this preset. And I'm going to modify a few parameters. So max speed, um, I like it to be around 30. I don't want to use curse. So for that, we need to increase the speed to 40. Um, I don't care about the speed in echo mode because I never use it. I like to reduce the motor start speed to 3 km per hour. I wouldn't go lower than this value for the motor power constant because this might uh, stress the motor and battery too much. I also like to reduce the time for the cruise control to be activated to 3 seconds. I don't need this and this, neither this or this. So these are my settings. That's what I'm using on, uh, on my scooter. We click patch and the firmware is downloaded. It ends in 6102. So we get back to N365 down G. We open the, again the file system and browse to the firmware that we just created and we can flash it. Again, I will speed up this process and come back right at the end. Okay, so as you can see, flashing the custom firmware was successful. So, that's all we, we had to do. Yeah, we are now on firmware 138. So, as you saw guys, this process is not that complicated. It's very easy now. You don't have to use that testing programmer that uh, was scaring a lot of people. Um, and so, to recap, all you have to do is to update N365 down G to version 17. Then you can find in the video description uh, a Bluetooth firmware for your uh, scooter, for standard and for, uh, for Pro. So look for that uh, in the video description. It has to be uh, the file with firmware 073 for the standard and 074 for the Pro. So you first flash the Bluetooth uh, firmware, then Create a custom firmware as you saw for the for the ESC and flash this one. As simple as that. In any case, if you have any questions, feel free to to post them in the um, uh, comment section. Um, again, if you like this video and find it uh, useful. Please give it a like and uh, a share. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. 
बाय